Hi, my name is Albert Dunford, and in this tutorial video, we are going to look at the output impedance of this buck converter. This buck converter is working with an inner current loop, uh, working on average current mode control of the current through the inductor, and we're also feeding back the output voltage and controlling that with a separate outer PI control loop. We can run this converter and we can look at when the converter hits steady state. Uh, we can see that it's definitely hitting steady state between 4 and 6 milliseconds. Um, and that information is pretty crucial for when we set up the AC sweep. So what we're going to do now is set up the elements so that we can look at what the output impedance is as a, as a function of frequency. And I've got those elements down here. We'll enable them and bring them up. Okay, so the first thing to look at is we need to insert, we're going to inject a sinusoidal current into the output stage here. And we're also going to then monitor the current flowing into the converter along with the output voltage. So this element here is a voltage controlled current source and we've got a sinusoidal source set up on the output here. And we've got a sinusoidal source set up on the output here. So this voltage controlled current source, if we come over into the library, so elements, sources, current, and we need to go down to the bottom here, uh, voltage controlled current source. That's the element I'm using. And then I'm driving it with a sinusoidal voltage source that we're going to be controlling with the output block here. So notice how the name here, output, matches this sign source here, output. So output and output. So those are the two key things there. And then what we're doing is we've set up a voltage sense on the output voltage itself, and we're using the AC probe here. The AC probe is found in elements, other probes, and there is the AC probe right there. And then the current, we set up a current sense element here. So then the current we're monitoring. So I output and V output are going to then be used to determine what the output voltage is. So Ohm's law, voltage divided by current, is impedance. Um, and we will make use of that to determine what the output impedance is of the converter. Uh, the other parameters that we're interested in here. So we are going to sweep um, between 10 hertz and 100 kilohertz. We're going to use 30 points. We're sweeping the source called output, which again is then controlling this current source. And then uh, the other key point here is that steady state was in six milliseconds. So we've put that in uh, right there and we are ready to run this simulation now. Okay, so here are the plots. So you notice that we have a current and a voltage uh, from the sensors that we had in circuit and we need to now manipulate these curves to get the actual output impedance. So the y-axis here is actually in dB. So in order to determine the impedance, we actually will subtract. And so to do that, we're going to take the output voltage, bring that down to the math bar, subtract the current, and this is going to give us the impedance in dB. And then we'll do the same thing for the phase. So bring both those guys over, and then voltage minus the current for the phase, and we'll end up with the and we'll end up with the phase of our uh, of the output impedance. Okay, so that's how you determine the output impedance of the buck converter here. This approach is applicable for most other power converter topologies, uh, and I'll do some more videos covering that fact. Um, the last thing to comment on is how did I come up with this this peak amplitude here of one? Well, essentially, I just played around with various uh, amplitudes starting from between five and ten percent of what the output current is. So I tried one. If we look to see what happens with some other values, we can see what happens if it's too small or too large. So we can see this This is the sweep result with uh, 0 0.5 and it still looks pretty good. If we go and, and put something really big in and we can see this is the, the sweep results with an input uh, perturbation of uh, 2 amps. And we can see now it's starting to wiggle a little bit. So the uh, the sweep curves is slightly more robust on the output than if you have seen the input impedance tutorial video. Um, definitely sticking between uh, the sweet spot of between 5 and 10% is a good place to begin and then adjusting from there as needed. But we can see again with a little bit too much current we're starting to introduce some uh, unnecessary perturbations here and distorting the signal. Okay, that's it for this tutorial video. 
Thanks again for watching. Check back again for more tutorial videos, or you can subscribe to the channel and you'll get updates of whenever we post a new one. Okay, thank you so much. Bye now.